Hello, um, this is example 5.3.1 on page 207 of the Duffy and Beckman text. Um, so, this problem is uh, about a single uh, glass cover system asking to calculate the transmissivity, reflectivity, and absorptivity of that glass cover. So, um, single glass cover. Um, what that means is uh, that we can look up in uh, table uh, 5.1.1 that the index of ref refraction um, is 1.526. That's the information that we gather from the fact that it's a single glass cover. Um, the thickness, um, L length, is uh, 2.3 millimeters. That's given. Um, and that equals 0 0.0023 meters. Um, the extinction coefficient, k, um, is equal to 32 units per meter. And the incidence angle Theta is given as 60 degrees. Um, and we are asked to find um, transmissivity tau, reflectivity rho, and absorptivity alpha. Um, and I've also added that I want to check. Um, that the sum of all of these, tau plus rho plus alpha equals 1, because it should be, because uh, the incident radiation is either transmitted through the material, reflected off the material, or absorbed in the material. Uh, and that's it. It's a, it's a one-sum game. The, something's got to happen to each photon, and those are the three things that can happen to them. So um, to kick this off, uh, first we have to calculate the refraction angle. Um, so we do that using equation 5.1.4. Um, we get theta 2 is equal to the sine inverse of the sine of the incidence angle divided by the index of refraction. And that results in theta 2 equal to 34.58 degrees. Um, and so this allows us to calculate the um, extinction coefficient optical path product uh, which is uh, KL over cosine theta 2 so K is 32 is 0.0023 we divide by the cosine of 34.58. And so what we get is 0 0.0894. Um, the 
next piece of the puzzle is uh, to calculate tau sub a. So here we're going to use equation 5.2.2. And we get uh, tau sub a equals exponential of negative 0 0.0894, the number we just calculated above. Um, and what we get is 0 0.915. So note that this is not the transmissivity. This is tau sub a. Um, we still have to average for the parallel and perpendicular components of polarization in the glass. So this is uh, an intermediate step on our way to the solution. Um, so the next piece of the puzzle, uh, we need to use um, equation 5.1.2. Um, to um, 5.1.2, mm. 5.1.2 and 5.1.1. We're going to use 5.1.1 first. Um, calculate the perpendicular component of reflectance. Um, that's equal to uh, the sine squared of the angle we calculated above minus the incidence angle divided by sine squared of 34.58 plus the incidence angle. Um, so we get 0 0.184 divided by 0 0.994, which is equal to 0 0.185. And then the parallel component is, is almost the same equation, but instead of sines, we use tangents. 34.58 minus 60 divided by the tan squared of 34.58 plus 60. Um, and that gives us 0 0.226 divided by um, actually a very large number. Um, Hmm, 0.8. So what we end up with, because we're dividing by such a large number, is we end up with a very small number for the parallel component there. Um, and so what we end up with here uh, is a way to calculate tau, transmissivity. So therefore, tau is equal to uh, 0 0.915, which is the tau sub a number divided by 2 um, times 1 minus 0 0.185 divided by 1 plus 0 0.185, which is the perpendicular component. Uh, times 1 minus 0 0.185 squared divided by 1 minus 0 0.185 times 0 0.915 quantity squared. Close that parentheses. Plus, uh, now we have to do the parallel component. 1 minus 0 0.001 over 1 plus 0 0.001 multiplied by 1 minus 0 0.001 squared divided by 1 minus 0 0.001 times 0 0.915 quantity squared and close all those parentheses and brackets. Um, 
this gives us 0 0.5 times 0 0.625 plus 0 0.912, which is equal to 0 0.768. Final answer for tau. So it's definitely a long, drawn-out process, and now we have tau. The good part is that that's the hard part. Calculating reflectivity and absorptivity is relatively straightforward at this point. Um, so, in light of the lack of room in this uh, little area here, um, we're going to move up into the empty space up here. for the next part of the problem. So that was um, for calculating tau. So next, um, we're going to calculate reflectivity next. So to do that, we use equation 5.3.2 um, for reflectance. And that gives us just rho equals 0 0.5 times 0 0.185. Again, we reuse a lot of these same numbers uh, that we calculated before, so we've already done the bulk of the work getting this far. 1 plus 0 0.915 times 0 0.625 plus 0 0.001 times 1 plus 0 0.915 times 0 0.912. Um, so when you crunch all those numbers, you end up with reflectivity equals to 0 0.147. Uh, next, we're going to calculate absorptivity. And we do that using equation um, 5.3.3 um, alpha equals 1 minus 0 0.915 divided by 2 uh, multiplied by 1 minus 0 0.185 which is again that perpendicular component of, of uh, R over here divided by 1 minus 0 0.185 times 0 0.915. 0 0.915 is that tau sub a again over here. Um, plus 1 minus 0 0.001, which is the parallel component over here, divided by 1 minus 0 0.001 times 0 0.915, that tau sub a again, close that parentheses, crunch all those numbers, and you end up with uh, alpha equals 0 0.085. So we've calculated each of these three pieces, and now it's good to just check it. Um, so we're going to check that uh, tau plus rho plus alpha equals 1. If you punch those numbers in your calculator, uh, 0 0.768 plus 0 0.147 uh, plus 0 0.085, you end up indeed that they do equal 1. Check. So um, we've accounted for all the photons essentially. And uh, that's example 5.3.1. So thank you so much for your time and for listening.